Here's to Mark Hughes, much future success and for Queen's Park Rangers as well. QPR fans and scored for manager shifter. A lot of fans were beginning to get very, very concerned about the state of the team. Um, the last really decent performance was uh, towards the end of November when we won at Stoke. And uh, what might have happened would be another couple of defeats and the crowd would have possibly turned against Neil Warnock, which would have been a great shame having achieved what he did. He didn't deserve that. So I think it was a very tough decision for Tony Fernandes, but probably the right decision. QPR har glass to be set on half full of supporters skribent Martin Percival with Hughes as manager. I think Mark Hughes is a big name himself. He was a big name as a player. A lot of the uh, footballers at the Premier Division level, whether they're uh, British players or uh, from other countries, they will know of Mark Hughes when they were kids. They you know, would have seen him as, uh, as an idol probably playing for the likes of Manchester United. So he's a big name, he's an attractive name. And realistically speaking, he can probably sign players that I suspect Neil Warnock might not have been able to sign. Selv om optimismen er tilbake på Loftus Road med Hughes ved Rore, er Percival opptatt av at forventningene til valiseren ikke blir for høye. I know Tony Fernandes has been talking about maybe playing in uh, Europe in a couple of years' time. That would be fantastic, but the top priority has to be surviving in the Premier Division uh, for this first season, which is the first year in 15 years that we've been playing at this level.